Hello everyone. Thank you for being with me today to allow me to share our experience with Udo. And many thanks to Udo for the opportunity to present one of our successes. I'm Christian Rakutunatsima, CEO of Miro. Miro is an open source based solution provider located in Antananarivo, Madagascar, with a branch in Dubai. Miro builds mainly solutions based on Udo. Miro has more than 80 experiences in Udo and start work with Udo with the version 6 called at that time OpenERP6. For the coming 90 minutes or so, I'll speak about one of the projects we were in the last two years. The launching of the ERP based on Udo 11 of one of our long-term partners, Akarana Drinks. Akarana Drinks is a rum butler located in Antananarif, Madagascar, offering its products all around the country to our sellers and retailers. Akarana Drinks has 140 employees, roughly speaking, among of which 70 use the ERP. The remaining employees work mainly in the production chain and do not have the need to use the ERP. Let's do a small story about Ankarana Drinks, Udu and Miro. Miro is partially owned by the group Ankaran, the parent company of Ankarana Drinks, and had already implemented OpenERP7 at Ankarana Drinks from 2015. That implementation did not cover the full operation despite three years of effort. It had only as full running the sales, the warehouse, and accounting. Neither the manufacturing, the purchase, nor the demand resources were used back then. In 2015, Akana Drinks management team noticed recurring incurrence in the accounting reports. After multiple works of the accounting team, the incurrence continued to appear. There was a point where the management team felt that the control of the business was lost and the risk of having an unknown major issue was at sight. Multiple solutions were then considered, extending the scope of the existing OpenERP7 going for another solution, it was Sage ERP, setting up a fully customized new ERP based on Udo, using OpenERP7 as a data source. The experience of a half successful implementation of OpenERP7 did not ensure the future success of the third option, but some concern on Sage ERP implementation control made the same third option the best, not to mention the much more difficult to complete improvement of the existing implementation of OpenERP7, the option one. Most of the time, it is easier to start from scratch than to fix a long, half-working solution. Decision was made to go for Udo 11, the last stable version of Udo at that time. It was up to Ankarana Drinks and Miro to make it work. That was the context at the beginning of the project. Let's review the challenges and supporting details of the idea of putting an ERP in an organization located in Madagascar. The challenges first. As any ERP implementation, it comes with a high volume of information and data to deal with, and many other rules and constraints to comply with. Second, a higher number of critical areas. Third, multiple perspectives on what is priority and what is optional. Each department, even each user of the same service will have different opinions. Besides the challenges that any ERP implementation faces, there are other challenges that are specific to Ankara and Drinks ERP implementation. What are those challenges? First, it shall be conducted without any operation disruption, nor any long time absence for training purposes. The longest training duration was done with the sales department. It was around eight hours. There is also a cultural habit of the employees to rely on oneself than to rely on the organization rules. For example, when there is an issue, the employee will not complain, but will find a working solution for his own. If such attitude can be a good one in some cases on ERP use, it can be a source of issues. Last, in a location where the labor cost is not very high, the gain of using an ERP is not sure. Given its cost, even if you do is very competitive. Just a small comment. We at Miro set up some simple decision-making rules on the requirement management to avoid conflicts, misunderstanding, redundancies, or omissions, which are the source of all ERP implementation projects delays and most of the time failures. Those are some of the cons. What are the pros? Things are not as bad as they look like as always. There are also some supporting facts that help to be confident on the project successes. First, the experiment of the previous setup for Macallan Ricks and Miro from which both learn what not to do. For example, not to accept all requests from anyone because even the smallest request will cost time in formulation, setting, training, supporting, upgrading. So unless really required, requests will not be accepted. Second, the trust between Miro and Anakaran Drinks. Despite the experience of OpenERP7 project, 
I can have really still trust that if anyone can implement a solution to its problem, it will be only Miro. In that sense, the project got the full support of Akara Drinks management. Third, Miro knows and understands fully Akara Drinks business. Building the requirements and the business processes are no longer required. Miro has all of them already. Fourth, Miro understands and knows very well also Udo. Miro has more than 240,000 hours in Udo, 70% of which in customization, in more than 50 projects. Fifth, even if the implementation cost can be high, an ERP can still be a cost effective when the labor cost is low. It is still the best tool for operation and cost control. An ERP can be effective and efficient solution to reduce losses, to track the operation, and so on. It is also a good support to sustain fast growth. As a simple example, having an ERP is more efficient than having more people in the accounting and in the demand resources department. Six. Last but not least, in our case, Ankara Drinks, given the loss of control, reached a point where the ERP became almost vital. That gave focuses on supports to the project. How did Ankara Drinks and Miro do? Remember, the title of the presentation was How to go paperless with Udo in two years of time. The classic way of implementing an ERP will not work in our case. How did Miro and Ankara Drinks do? The response? a best effort-like method with the following rules at each decision-making. First, take full control and tracking of the company asset. Second, all action on the ERP shall be taken only by the accountable and witness of the action. Third, keep the use of the ERP simple and straightforward. All actions shall be completed by the user in two steps maximum. Fourth, run and track the operation only whenever possible. It is as easy as it is required. This rule implies that any entered data or information shall be as it is happened actually. No other data shall be entered or removed from the entry. We start then to set the native Udo 11 with four applications, sales, expense, warehouse, and accounting. With also few of our own customized module we upgraded from previous version of Udo, the check management and the validation rules. The check management is a module that manages checks from their collection or issuances to their clearance. The validation rules module enable to set rules on different documents of the ERP, like the sales order, the customer invoice, the purchase order, the supplier invoice, the customer payment, and so on. For example, the use of the validation rule, any sale with a discount more than 5% should be approved by the sales manager. If the discount is above 7%, the sale shall be approved by the sales director, etc. With those three applications and modules, Ankara and Drinks start to use the ERP and to apply the full tracking of the current assets. We knew that errors and mistakes will happen, maybe a lot of them, but we kept going for this group of applications and scheduled to extend the implementation on to reach the full coverage. On the other hand, we made sure that the current assets are fully under the no transfer without document in the ERP rule and insist to apply the factual data entry rule. A good example as part of the usual process of a current drink then was to submit requests for cash for future expense payment. Using the full tracking on the current asset, the cash transfer is registered as cash transfer from the main cashier to the employee owned cashier. After a few months, on a review, we noticed that each employee had an important amount of cash with them. We realized then that the cash were requested, but no expense evidence were returned by the requester after getting the cash. The process was fixed since then. After the first wave of applications, we added on the way the following application by wave also. First wave, purchase, missions, manufacturing. Second wave, employees and leaves. Third wave, payroll and attendances. Fourth wave, recruitment, maintenance and fleet. All the waves of integration were done according to the readiness of the service in charge and also their needs. Besides those waves of integration, we added, of course, all the customization that were asked by the users and made the use of the ERP as simple as possible. Miro, by experience, knows that if the use is difficult, the failure is almost sure. With that in mind, Miro developed around 70 customization of different sizes. To name a few, the major one, all the bank voucher that 
and can adjunct use to do payment. They don't use only checks, they use also other documents such as the provision that I show you here, how it looks like in details, then the transfer order that I show you now, the details also. And Carnal Drinks use a lot the transfer order. It's easier to use them. All bank vouchers management. Besides checks, there are three other documents that used a lot by Ankarana Drinks for its payment. Document validation, I spoke already about it earlier. I show now the document validation, which is one of the modules that you developed also. Here, you'll see that the document is submitted to the different level of management to get approved. Then, after the approval, only the user can proceed for the action to confirm the document. Next, the discount list. Ankarana Drinks doesn't give price list to their customer, but discount list. It has like a, a better feeling for the customer on their pricing. So they give a level of discount as per the profile of the customer. They can give it or not. Discount list. In Udo, there is price list. Ankarana Drinks use instead a kind of discount list. Next, the consignment. In Madagascar, the price of the bottles is a little bit high compared to the price of the product. So it's better for the manufacturer to buy back the bottles and use them again after, of course, cleaning them. So I'll show you how it appears on the ERP. Moreover, the cost of the bottles doesn't support the VAT. Only the content of the bottles support the VATs. So to make the life of the salespeople easier, they just have to put the product, then the system will separate the content from the button. I'll show you that now. Let's say we five, sell five of this product, then the system will put directly that there are five bottles plus five content. And if you look at it in the details, the bottles will not support the VAT. And when you confirm the sales, the invoice will get exactly the same separation, the bottles and the content, as it shows on the screen now. You see here the invoice. See, now it's separated into instead of one, like it was in the sales order. Consignment. In Madagascar, given the cost of the glass bottles, they are bought back by the bottlers, cleaned fully and reused. Document verification. To enforce business processes and business rules, the accounting team has a tool to check all vouchers and accept or reject the voucher. Next, the document verification. We know from the beginning that there will be many mistakes done. So we anticipated that. We put a tool for the accounting to check each document that generates an accounting entry to see if the document is correct and if the generated accounting entry is correct. So here, for example, it is under verification. You see who does the verification, when, and then the ver ver verifier can approve or reject the document. If it is rejected, it can be submitted again for verification and then it can be approved or rejected again. That's how it works. It's a very good tool to be sure that all documents are checked fully and the report will be correct fully from that. Next, the payroll. Here, here I show you one of the payroll. Of course, you see, I show you one which is approved by the accountant and you see the details. Here, you can show the working hours of the employee during the month. And this uh, separation is according to the law of the country. And here also, all the details are according to the law of the country. So everything is computed automatically. Madagascar payroll, to have the full Malagasy payroll as per the law and regulation. Missions, we build this application to manage the sales that are done by the sales team when they give visit to the customers all around the country. Next, missions. Missions develop uh, fully for the salespeople who works outside the office and sell all around the country. So. In this document, they can manage everything from their works during the, that period. So the sales, what is in their trucks, the, what they delivered, what they collect from for as payment, what are they collect as consignment, and so on. So this with this tool, they can manage everything straightforwardly. Next, IRI FNE. In Madagascar, anyone can sell anything without any constraint. So if Ankara and Drinks buy something to someone who doesn't have a tax ID, it has made the deal in a way that 5% of the deal goes to the tax collector and 95% goes to the sellers. So it's up to Akarana Drinks 
to give the 5% of the transaction to the tax collector. You see here that it's created automatically by the system. This is the journal entry. Iri Fini Tax. In Madagascar, anyone without a tax ID can set goods and services to any company. In that case, the Bain company shall pay the tax collector 5% of the purchase. It represents the VAT of the transaction. Next, the backdate delivery. This tool allows the warehouse manager and the factory manager to register backwardly their transaction. For example, they forget to put the delivery on the system. They just have to set, as I do now, the date where they did the delivery and then confirm the delivery and the system will register it automatically. Technically, it's a little bit tricky, but we, we did it. So now, if it delivers, the system will put automatically all the theoretical inventory automatically. And last one, the backdate delivery is part of the tool to overcome all issue of late entry. Such tool is a real source of security breach and wrongdoing. And they shall be implemented and used in a strict control and monitoring. Used wrongly, they will lead the users to hide mistakes, invalidate reviews and reports as the data were changed since then all of which will end in wrong decision-making for the management and loss of trust on the ERP reports. The impact of a loss of trust on the ERP reports can be a disaster. The approach we took is not perfect. Ankarana drinks, using solid ERP was not sufficient to get the business performance in the first 18 months. Other sources of information and data were required. On the other hand, the loss of the business control less than five years ago and the experience of on ERP7 implementation made the classical approach not an option. As of now, all on kernel drinks operation goes through the ERP. Let me talk a little bit on the way the customization were conducted. As I said earlier, we did many customization, around 17 total, and few more, around the minimum of five will come. To avoid a high cost of maintenance and high cost of upgrades, we worked to rely on native Udo. We used only Udo modules as base of our modules and did not create new objects unless it cannot be inherited from an Udo object. We found also, for example, some features of Udo that were hidden. Thank you, Udo. For the material, Ankara and Rings had already a local network and each office employee has a computer. So what we had as a material extra, one server, one virtual machine, one automatic backup solution, one Android tablet with 4G connection for each cell team, one Bluetooth portable printer for each cell team for the services, 192 man days of senior Udo consultants, 22 man days of junior Udo consultant, 155 man days in senior Udo developers, and 307 days on Udo developers. The results, to summarize, here where we are now, the good things, a much better view of the business situation, although it's not yet full, but the control is much better and the path is much clearer. Full coverage of Ankara and Drinks operation by the ERP. At the time of the preparation of this document, only the petrol cards management is not in the ERP. The improvement of the business processes and the petrol repartition of the accountability and responsibility. We were able to set the progressing work where once the operation is integrated in the ERP, the risk of getting it out back is very low. There are many errors that you have to fix. We are now working and reviewing all the encore of the information in the system. Each document, sale order, delivery order, customer invoice, supplier invoice, customer payment receipt, supplier payment receipt, signed and stamped by all stakeholders shall be attached to their counterparts in DRP. Some departments did it very well, some almost not at all. Those are the only way to have the full line of accountability in the operation. We start the first business performance evaluation with ERP so far. We work on a connectless ERP as some of Ankara and Adjun's customers are located in areas where there is no internet connection. The truck teams shall be able to sell, to invoice, to register payment and to deliver in those places. Udo gives already such features with the POS, but on the contrary of the POS which is used in the retail, we need to have the sales, the invoice, the payment, and the delivery to be disassociated, not like in a POS. We have already the solution, but when the internet connection is available. We work also on the full integration of the Malagasy ROM taxation, which has many five different taxes, plus VATs on taxes. 
You work also on the costing and pricing tool, which is also in Udo through the landed cost. Second last, to deploy the supporting departments to all the companies of the group Ankara, the parent company of Ankara and Drinks, human resources, purchase, accounting, equipment management, accessions, VAT. The procurement, production and delivery will be developed separately for each of those companies. And last but not least, we plan to go for Udo 14 upgrade. So is Ankara and Drinks paperless? Yes, yes, yes and no. Yes, because all operations go through the ERP and papers are only used when required by the laws. The case of the payslip that shall be printed, signed by the employee, the delivery order that shall be printed, stamped and signed by the customer, etc. I can say no also because the management requires that all documents shall be printed, signed by the department or service manager when they are approved in the ERP, some kind of double security. The solution is under process to avoid such work duplication. Again, yes, because Ankara and Drinks has now a new sales manager and he is fully paperless. To close my presentation, that is why we love Udo. Our own skills are our own limit with Udo. It is built well and succeeded already where many solutions failed so far, which is to have a smooth vertical integrations. Thank you again for your time. Greatest thanks for the team who prepared the presentation. As you know, we shall have 10 minutes Q&A session after the presentation. I will respond to all the questions that the moderator will submit during that period. Thank you again, and do not hesitate to contact us. Here below are my contacts. Thank you. Well, uh, first of all, Christian, thank you very much for the presentation. Um, thank you also, everyone, for, for joining um, this Q&A session. The idea is simply to, to talk a little bit uh, about your experience so far uh, with Odoo. And uh, yeah, for maybe for this first point, um, I would like to ask you, what kind of experience do you have uh, implementing uh, the solution and in which countries did you were able to, to implement it? Yeah. Uh, thank you, thank you everyone for being here, and uh, thank you very much for, for the time that's spent with us. Uh, yes, uh, first I'd like to apologize first because we promised the subtitle in French for the, our French speaker customers. So, sorry for that, I'll do it in French. Uh, désolé, pour ceux qui parlent français, nous avons promis de mettre uh, des sous-titres en français, mais uh, on était un peu tard, donc on, on voulait pas déranger ce qui a été déjà fait. So, um, to respond to your question, um, what is uh, where we implement in fact uh, Udo in two countries in uh, United Arab Emirates, so, uh, people know very well Dubai, and in Madagascar in Antananarivo. And uh, we the experience is really different. The expectations are different. The reaction of the customers and the users are different. For example, in Dubai, the expectation is very high and they will ask you everything that they need and they will tell you any problem that they will face. In Madagascar, the expectation is not high and people will accept uh, what you give to them and they will not complain on problems. They will try to solve it by themselves. And those two, two let's say, uh, way of working, in fact, we uh, need some uh, adaptation from our side to, to tackle the problem in different ways and to understand the, the needs of the customer in different ways. So it shows the flexibility coming from both sides, basically, right? From your side yeah, yeah. and also from, from Odoo. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And uh, in fact, we really, uh, like I said in the video, uh, we, we are in Odoo, like uh, I'm with Odoo for like uh, 10 years and uh, Miro is with Odoo for eight years. So we like very much Odoo. Why? Because in fact, uh, there is no limit. So... That is the way that we like it. And uh, I really advise to people, especially people in Madagascar, really to go to Udu with Udu because all the resources are available. If you try to do any other ERP in Madagascar, they will not even consider the, 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 the let's say, the request because of the resources. You cannot find, for example, any SAP uh, consultant here because of the cost. Mm -hmm. But the country can adapt itself on Udu because 
that people here, you, have, you, you can have the consultant here on Udo. You can have the technical skills. You can have the, the functional skills. So it's, it's a totally different, uh, different uh, uh, picture. Yeah. Okay, okay, perfect. Uh, thank you. Thank you for that uh, answer. Um, is there anything apart from what we have been able to see during the presentation that you would like to add at this moment? Uh, what, what I'd like to add is in fact that um, I think uh, if we are able to use uh, this kind of tool in our country, it would be a totally different picture economically. And I think that uh, I see that the, the tax uh, collector start to really to work with how to get their, uh, their system fully, uh, fully numerical. And uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a different, it's, a, it's a different game. So everything will change very fast the, the coming years. And I think uh, I would really recommend uh, all, the, all the investors and all the business owners to consider to have an ERP, really. Well, thank you very much, Christian. Then I'm going to start wrapping up this Q&A session. Um, really appreciate you taking your time talking to me today. And um, thank you again uh, for the presentation. Thank you for everyone watching. And uh, yeah, um, hopefully you, you can be contacted if somebody needs more detail. Yes, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you again for, uh, for your time. All the best. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.